so we have our four quadrant socket ready with the PID controller first we are running it for 0.8 seconds so we'll be giving inputs manually that is the speed and the voltage each 0.2 seconds will we will be changing the speed and the reference torque so as we can see it is picking up the reference voltage the yellow line is the speed and the pink line is the required torque or the electric output torque of the motor these inputs which we are giving manually can also be given through some signals through a set of signals which can perform all four quadrants now as we can see the speed has settled to reference voltage which is 10 and the RMS value of the torque is also about 4 now we stop our operation to change the quadrant now we we'll make this minus 10 and run as we can see it is changing the speed and here is some transients as the required torque is 4 newton meter it is catching up 4 newton meter as we can see it has reached minus 10 and the torque is 4 so it has changed its quadrant from the first quadrant to the fourth quadrant now at point 4 we will change it to third quadrant as we can see speed is minus 10 now and the RMS voltage is 4 now we will make the input torque as minus 4 and then run the operation we can see the torque has reduced to minus 4 there were some transients which has increased a little speed so the speed is negative and the torque is negative with reference to the initial speed so therefore it is working in the third quadrant now let's change it to second quadrant now now the, the speed has increased to plus 10 whereas the voltage sorry the torque is reducing to minus 4 as the input torque is minus 4 these are the transients the transient times which has to be noted and during that time the designer should stop giving input to the motor to avoid any hazards now we can see it has reached an RMS value of minus 4 it is round about fluctuating as minus 4 So we have all our four quadrants ready, first, fourth, third and second. As the simulation stops, the XY, we'll see the XY graph which is plotted with the X axis of speed and Y axis of the torque. So we have some this kind of a plot which gives us a positive speed and a positive torque that is the first quadrant 
the negative speed and the positive torque that is the fourth quadrant negative speed and the negative torque that is our third quadrant and finally positive speed and negative torque which are second quadrant so by so by manually giving the inputs we have achieved all four quadrant operation using a PID controller.